Senator Rice. Thanks, Acting Deputy President. Today I have the privilege of participating in the Youth Voice in Parliament campaign, which asks Australians aged 21 or under to write a speech on what our parliament should accomplish for their lo local MP to read. I am delighted to share Zane's story, who is one of my Victorian constituents. While us Australians are suffering through a financial crisis, while climate change is screaming at us for real action, our government actively chooses to squander more than $350 billion over 30 years on a few nuclear-powered submarines. For Australia's sake, for Australia's youth's sake, our government must cease the blind militarisation of Australia and dangerous heightening of Pacific tension. At best, these submarines mean improved Australian security against China, our largest trading partner, leading to the crumbling of diplomatic relations between us. At worst, they increase the risk of a hot war between Australia and China, one which comes at a tremendous cost to our youth's safety and security. On the other hand, spending this money on the construction of hospitals, roads and houses as well as action on the cost of living crisis and climate change would, would directly benefit all Australians in the short and the long term. Instead of wasting the money of hard-working Australians on war with our biggest trading partner, why doesn't our government opt to give $350 billion back to the people of Australia? Our government must pull out of the census submarine deal, no matter what the cost, because the cost of remaining in it is ever more detrimental to the economy, safety and security of the Australian people.